I am Christina Gaylor and I'm making this video today because it is day 13 of the first official Does My Tumor Awareness Month and I'm going to share my story to help bring awareness. So in 2001, I was di diagnosed with FAP and I ended up having to have my entire colon removed. I had three surgeries, had J pouch surgery and the takedown surgery. Before I had my colon removed, I was down to 82 pounds. Um, after I had my colon removed, I gained over 15 pounds in a very short amount of time. Um, I, <coughs> I was um, feeling great afterwards and healthy and um, had about six wonderful years until I started getting some pain on my right side and I had a scan and I was told I had a mass on my, in my abdomen and it was wrapped, it was pinching off my ureter and causing the flow, my urine to not go from my kidneys to my bladder. And then I went in and seen my surgeon and we had set up a date to do a biopsy. But by the time my doctor got home, he realized that he knew I had a desmoid tumor and that we didn't want to do the biopsy anymore because it would just make the tumor mad. And so we set up a day to do surgery. <clears throat> so on December 31st, 2008, I had surgery to try to remove my desmoid. Um, it was not removable because it was wrapping around my mesenteric artery and instead they removed my gallbladder. <clears throat> so then I had about two months of recovery before we started chemo and I started, I was given four options from a easy chemo pill to a hard 96 hour slow drip chemo that entitled me to be in the hospital for five days a month. I just wanted to kill this tumor and get it gone and so I chose to go the hard route first and did the adromycin. Only the first two rounds worked. Um, I did end up getting 20% shrinkage with that and so then we switched to the next chemo and I tried Paxil and I did four rounds of three week, three week injections and then a one week break. Um, that did not work at all uh, and so we switched to methotrexate and vinblastin and I did seven rounds of the same three weeks on, one week off. I ended up getting about 25% shrinkage with that. Um, at that point, I was getting <clears throat> really bad pancreatitis and ended up having to have um, IV hydration the three times a week at the cancer center just to try to stay out of the hospital. It finally came down to me being admitted into the hospital. I had to have a feeding tube for six months. I um, worked really hard to get rid of the feeding tube. Best day ever. Um, I could only eat mashed potatoes pretty much for five years. Um, and then so then I was doing methotrexate and vinblastin and I finished that and got about 20, 25% shrinkage from that chemo and so next we decided to switch to tamoxifen to give me a little bit of break and I ended up taking tamoxifen for almost four years until the hot flashes got so bad that it was more like hot periods and I would be hot for 12 hours and freezing for 12 hours and so I finally called my oncologist and told him I quit. He told me that meant that I would have to do chemo again and I was like, whatever, I'm ready, let's do chemo and get me off this pill. And instead we decided to, to monitor it and it's been staying the same ever since. <clears throat> it's been three years now. Last week I just had my annual CT scan and I get the results next week. Hoping everything is wonderful. Um, after I quit taking tamoxifen, I quit taking all of my medications, got off, on all, got off all the pain medications, um, and I started going to the gym and doing yoga, and I started gaining weight. I was down to 92 pounds when I joined the gym, and in just a few months, I was up to 120 pounds. 
solid muscle, just I, I, my body was starving, I was able to eat again, and <clears throat> I swear by exercise, and I um, am doing great now, and um, yeah, that's my story. Thanks. Um,